Hey guys, this is Jeff. Um, I'm back again with another video. Oh man, that's too cliche. I, I, I'll figure something out between now and in my 10th video or whatever. Um, <laughs> seriously. Alrighty, so let, let me let's see what we got here. Um, first, I got this awesome wallpaper. Picked it up off of uh, Steam, and I'm using um, what's it called? Uh, wallpaper Engine. Don't remember the exact artist, but I'm gonna see if I can pull up the information for you real quick, so we have that knocked out of the way, because I know you guys are gonna flood me with questions regarding it. Um, so let's see if we can find some info on it. If we pop that up there, uh, let's take a look. Okay, so this is just, yeah. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. I have a link here I got from Steam. It just popped up. Feel free to add me if you'd like. Um, okay, let me see. So this is the, oh, there we go. Alright, so this is what you want to do. This is the actual link to the community form of the person in Japan. In uh, Shibushi? Kagoshima, Japan? Um, let me add them as a friend. They're awesome. Alright, so this is the person that actually created all of the themes that you see currently. Um, you would just add them, click on their little workshop theme after you purchase uh, Wallpaper Engine, and it will automatically be added to your um, workshop. I'll make sure I have this in the description to give credit to the artist because this is an amazing, amazing theme. So it does very well when you have the music playing, but I didn't want to have any. Uh, particular problems with Porter Robinson and copyright strikes and whatnot, uh, but it does have its own music. Um, in the meantime, let's uh, get back to the video and I'm going to show you exactly what's going on here. Uh, pretty much, um, I like watching anime, but I don't have a lot of time. And when you don't have a lot of time, you got to get really crafty. Um, YouTube is very nice because you know you already have speed controls for your videos, but if you want to do it with Crunchyroll, there's actually a way to do it without waiting for Crunchyroll to implement their, its own features because that's never going to happen. Um, so what you want to do is actually install two extensions and we're not going anywhere until you guys do that. If you look at the description below there's two extensions. One is Crunchyroll HTML5. That'll stop Crunchyroll being dependent on its um, what do you call it? It's um, uh, Flash Player which is horrendous. Um, and then you also need speed video speed controller, which of course is going to be our speed controller to be able to uh, adjust the speed how we like. So I'm going to add both of them. One, two. And uh, the first thing we're going to do um, is we're actually going to, uh, one second here, we're going to click on the video speed controller. And I'm going to show you guys how to adjust some settings. So we. When you go to the top, the video speed controller looks like basically the YouTube play button with two pl with a fast forward icon inside. Um, you hit that, the first thing you want to do is hit settings and that will bring you to this page. Um, when you're here, you can leave this the same. The only thing you're really going to be focusing on is going to be your S and your D, which is going to be your decrease speed is S, D would be advanced speed or, or increase your speed, uh, your reset speed, which would be resetting it back to default, which would be your uh, 1.0, which is your normal speed, or you can just hit S a couple times and get back to where you were. Um, what we're going to do though is make some changes here. If you see where it says preferred speed, change that to 1.5. Ma make sure it's, you have, remember, preferred playback. Hit that check button, hit save. It says option save, we no longer need to mess with this anymore. Alright, so we exit out of that. Um, the second thing we need to do is we want to go to extensions. We want to make sure that the particular Chrome HTML5 has its preferred um, uh, permissions. So you go to details and you scroll down and I think there is, if it's not this one, it's probably the, this, the other one. Uh, let's back up because I don't think it's this one. Let's go back to video speed controllers, check details. Okay, it is this one. All right. So you go to details for video speed controller under extensions and you go down to where it says allow access to file URLs. Boom. All right, cool. Got that knocked out. Never touching that again. All right. So you close that off. You exit the store. Now, like I said, all the links I'm going to have, everything you need is going to be in the description below. Uh, so you close out of both of those. And let's say we load up uh, a version of uh, uh, whatever player that I'm playing on. Playing, what's this, Dragon Ball Z? Second to last episode? Okay, third to last episode. Regardless, 
Dragon Ball Z Crunchyroll, right? This is the original player. As soon as I refresh it, all the changes that we made are going to... Oh, I forgot something. Hold on. We have to go back to settings. Uh, Chrome colon slash slash settings. Alright, cool. We gotta go to settings because we have to turn off flash player. So you go under advance. You go to privacy and security right here. You click on content settings. You go down to where it says flash. And you turn this off. I would do it by default regardless because Flash is a horrendous, horrendous, obsolete program that has numerous security holes and it slows things down and it's terrible with bandwidth and I, the list goes on. Don't use Flash. Use HTML5. Chrome has HTML5 by default. Uh, certain sites don't like Crunchyroll, which is why we installed that extension. All right, so we close that off. Here's the moment of truth. We hit the refresh button. You're going to see a big change. It looks kind of like the YouTube player, doesn't it? Uh, give it a second. You see, and if you notice, you actually have a buffering bar. Oh my gosh. You're actually buffering. You remember those days when you could just like let a thing, an episode just buffer in the background, go offline and still watch it? I just got that back for you. You're welcome. All right, so check this out. So right here is the speed control extension. Um, because we changed that uh, 1.8 to 1.5 and we saved it, if I hit G, that should go right to 1.5. Perfect. All right, so now hit play. And then Toei Animation, not me. Don't copyright me, please. All right, so uh, the good thing is that, oh, arrow key, sorry. Um, you can actually, it's S and D, so S, lowers it, D speeds it up, and then uh, you can hit play to play the video, oh, alright, let's stop, <laughs> got it, the good thing is, is that uh, HTML5 actually, this particular version of HTML5 automatically um, just syncs with everything, it's perfect, I mean, it's so smooth. Do, do you see any pixels on this? No, I don't either, right? Like, look at this. This is perfect. You can even just stop and screenshot it. Anyway, so the whole reason why we did this is because 23 minutes, I mean, you're looking at like, what? I'll say 15 to 16 minutes max if you speed it up. Uh, 1.5, yeah, about, about maybe 15 minutes. Total time of it playing, 12 to 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, now you can watch your episodes at uh, one and a half speed um, and save time and zoom through your uh, marathons and still have enough time to get through your adult life. <laughs> All right, look at that. We're well under 10 minutes this time, so I guess I didn't get winded. Um, but yeah, if you need any help, let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. I'll drop some stuff uh, down in the description, um, mainly probably this PDF thing here. PDF notepad. Um, let me see. This is Steam. So this is going to be the user that I've created. The wallpaper engine uh, background I am using. I used in the video. Boom. All right. Cool beans. So um, this is what you'll see. If you guys need anything, just message me. I'm uh, just a comment away. Since everything is tied to my phone, I'm probably going to respond within a minute or so. Uh, give me like 30 minutes. Depends. Um, but yeah, if anything else, uh, really appreciate your, time, your uh, guys' time. Thank you very much for uh, watching. And uh, be blessed. It's been Jeff. You have a good rest of your day. Now that's a pretty damn good ending. <laughs>